Hey, I want to go over Stripe, how we can use N8N to make the flow just easier. I know we could do this all in code. I know with AI it can crank out a lot of things. I think people will see, though, that there is an advantage to using N8N for this. It's not just, just trying to use it for everything. And let's go look over what the goal is, and then we'll go dig into the actual N8N. So with any then we can have a workflow that will kick off the sale. It will talk to it will talk to Stripe in the background, and then it will return us back to the next page. And the next page, oddly enough, is here, where then it it has certain variables to help it know again what to do with that request, and then saves it to the database. So basically, at this point, they enter the site. That's a huge marker thank you so at this point they enter the site from our site which we'll show in a moment we have some variables we set and then we say to stripe hey we're here we want to make a session or kick off this process from here we're gonna it gives us a url so we can go to stripe's nice web page and then after that's done it comes back here to just finalize some of this so it says okay you're back I know who you are because you returned a session ID and other things I'm going to show you. Let's go just double check that information so we have more of it. I think we get the subscription ID, we'll look in a moment, and then we save that to our subscription table and we return them back to our site. It seems like a lot, but it's really, what's nice is when it's done. The thing with N8N is it just keeps working for you and that's really nice. Now, how does that flow look like? So a person comes to your site, and, and we'll show this in a moment. It's nothing exciting, but they come to your site and they subscribe. Now, that subscribe button is going to have the user's email and then the user's user ID from your site. And so what happens is when we send that over to the N8N, if we look in this guy here, we then take our time to grab the user ID. It's called a client reference ID in Stripe, so I named it this just so I didn't have to swap it around. And then we grab the user's email. So at this point, we have some information from our site so that when that button gets them here, it knows who they are and I can connect them later on back. And that's why those standalone payment pages are great, but it can make it hard to link things together. The first time I tried this, I had trouble because I did that and I just couldn't really connect the dots, especially when someone would sign up to the website with one email and then do a Stripe registration with another. So at this point now, they go through that process I just spoke about. They then go to that nice payment page. This is not a payment page that I set up in Stripe. Typically in Stripe, I would go to the payment links area and I would create a payment link, but I don't have to in this case, okay? I can just pass this information to the URL it gives me. So it gives me a URL right here. So after we make this request to Stripe to create a session, at this point we get the URL from them and we just redirect the user here. And this is neat because we forget that NAN can do redirects with 302s. So you can really move things along. And this paid off on Stripe and some other projects. Even, yeah, some other stuff, it was really cool. And so at this point in the process, they're here, they're filling in their form in the credit card and everything works. But it knows now because we told Stripe in this process to to send it back to this next webhook and we did that because we gave it a success url sorry we gave it the success url and we asked it and this is really cool so we gave it our success url and that url is this one here okay that url is actually just right down here okay so we say, okay, when you're, when this is successful, let's go back here. Now, if it's not, if they cancel, it goes here. We could do something. I just didn't do it yet. But if they succeed, we are going to, let's get back to that. We are going to do this cool thing where we say, hey, you know what? I want that client ID, which is my user ID that for the site, so I can link it all back. I want the price ID, so I know what it is that they signed up for, so maybe I can do other stuff later with that pricing. But this is the coolest one of all, and again, AI helped me figure this one out is that I want this session ID. And so with that, I can do some things afterwards and we'll go look at that in a moment. So now we send that URL we made over and we get it to come back to us. Okay, so at this point when it does come back with all of that information, let's see if I can grab one here. And it's mostly test data, but you can see we get back the client reference ID, the price ID and the session ID. 
And what we do with that is we set some VARs. This is a waste here. I wouldn't worry about this one. It's really helpful here. I'd probably get rid of it here. But what we do is we say, okay, Stripe, we see that you came back with all this, but I want to go get that person's session ID to just get a little bit more information about them. And then once I have that information, I'm just going to sock it away into the subscription table. Now I talk about the subscription table down here, and I keep it really simple. I basically got something from Superbase and then just stripped it down a little bit. And then we see you just grab the price ID from whatever page you're on that you're trying to subscribe people to or sell. And that's about it at that point. Now, they go through this process. We save it to the database. And again, we go back to this moment of redirecting, okay? And it's, we're going to do it because it's so fast. This is It's going to be interesting to watch, okay? So then when they're done, we send them back to the URL that we set up ahead of time to be our product URL. So as you can see with this one, I have it still left over as the local website I was testing on. So let's go fix that. And then let's just go through this as a regular sign up. So let's go here and we'll just say protected. And it's a silly name, but that's what it is. All right, so let's go sign up. We're going to go to the website. And just so you can see we're live and you'll see how things shift. And you'll see how fast it really is. And I probably already did this one there already. So I'm going to do this. Oh, and I'm in the wrong page. Let me go sign up. And I usually never know my e password, so I'm just doing this because these are just throwaways. And then I should be able... Now, I don't have to do this. I thought I had fixed that. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we're here at the dashboard or whatever. Yeah, the dashboard. That's where I should send the person back to. Let's do that just so we can see the whole thing all the way through. Let's send them back to here. So now the person's... I'm ready to subscribe. So let's get this whole process going. Let me move this closer into the range we have here one moment okay so now that was it it was really that quick i clicked that button and as a user i didn't even notice the n8n step and so now we go through the process and if you don't know it's 4242 you just put that in and you put in any future date and you put in just one two three and then you could put in whatever you want for a name and then any zip code. I don't even know it has to be <clears throat> a real zip code. It could just be any. And then we give it a moment. And, of course, the redirect's going to happen. If you watch that URL, it goes in and it comes back. It's really that quick. That's nice. So this person now has a row in the database. And if I remember the, the actual email I used, sorry about that. If we go to authentication, sorry, if we go to... Make it easy. So let's move this into the screen. Where are you? There's your table. There you go. And oh, here it is. Users right in front of me. And I think, huh? Sorry, that was an easy one to remember. All right, so this is the one. So it's 310 and it's 059. If we copy now, the table I used is, is I'll share that after on my forum. This table you're going to see is that, but with a few extra fields I just got to get rid of. I just forgot to clean them out. It's like the old way versus the new way. But if we look way down here, this person has a customer ID, a subscription ID, and there should be, let's see, quantity, price, active. So all these things took place inside of this step where we quickly just update the user ID, the the price ID, the status, and created that quantity, subscription ID, and customer ID. And so we just put those all in there and we're done. That was quick. And lastly, what's really nice here too is on this page here, because we have the customer ID, we can quickly say, okay, let's give them a way to remove that. And actually that was working on my local, I didn't deploy it yet. But when they click that button, they would end up going to a nice Stripe login page. So if I was to go here and click on that, it would get them over to that page. And then they can manage their subscription there. You would not know that they canceled it. I'm going to talk about that another time, but basically it's just a webhook. You start, you put a webhook into Stripe and that comes back to your N8N. And then when this cancellation comes in, you just mark them as canceled in that table. Superbase has ways to do it. There's so many ways to do this. I, I just like this because I get a sense of what's going on when and I get execution logs.
And like I said, you have that nice feature here where you can see get that session ID. That was really cool. It's not cr double curly brackets like we're used to in N8N, but it's just single. And then when we pass it into the URL for Stripe, it gives us back what we want. Really nice. I think that's why it's a reminder of why they're doing so well. They just do some things really well for us to make this quick and easy. And again, like I showed you, you can do that and then the webhook. But yeah, I mean, that it's, it seems complicated, but once you see the flow and how fast it is, it's a nice solid way to quickly onboard people to your product and not have to do any code around it. Not have to worry about AI breaking the particular code in that one part. All right, hope that helps you. There's a form link below. I'm going to share this. I'm going to share all of that that particular N8N N workflow in there. So you can always come and get that. It's five bucks a month. Uh, and you hopefully come in there, ask questions. I'm there to answer your questions personally. So it's you can get help on anything you want. N8N, Superbase, Next.js, how to build things, Coolify. It's just it's a good place to get help and assistance. And because it's not a, because it's a forum, your questions don't go away. They're there for later for you to find on like on Discord, uh, where it just gets lost in the thread. So anyways, uh, give that a try. All right. Thank you.